Hey there guys. I know a lot of you um, have this. I was able to dig this out. I haven't used it in a while. This IMAX B6 charger. Um, there is a sticker of authenticity on the back. When you rub it, it will show a security code, and then when you don't, it'll go back to the sticker. But um, I just wanted to, if you didn't know this, I have a couple batteries charging here. I got an H501S battery over there, H109S battery on my bigger one. But if you didn't know exactly how to work this thing, I have right now a 3 cell 11.1 volt battery charging. So I'm just going to stop it and what you do to get into your capacity cutoff and stuff is you basically press stop and you use these status indicators so you can go battery meter, battery resistance, start. This one's going to have high resistance, 35, 32, and 33. This battery has been used quite a few times. It is starting to balloon pretty bad. Um, but you can do that. You can also um, do battery meter, which is going to show you how many volts are in the cell. This charger does not keep these cells very balanced. Look, if you want to set your capacity cutoff, go to system setting, start, and just start going through here. So this is a 1000 milliamp hour battery. So you turn capacity cutoff, press start, it will flash on, press start again, now you can move that around to whatever your battery is rated at, it's very important to do that. Press start again, then you can set everything else off, your temperature cutoff, your rest time and all that stuff. But I need to charge this real quick. Um, So it's a 3S, I got it at a thousand milliamp hour, capacity cutoff, hold start, and let it charge. So that that's for you that have the IMAX B6. It does do the same kind of functions as big duplex radiant charger does, but it's not, it doesn't have a cooling fan, you can only charge one battery at a time and uh, it doesn't really keep these cells I mean while it's charging you can press the status button to the right it will show you the cells and then it will say fuel that's the capacity and there's 4.05 volts per cell it's a 3 cell it's at 86 percent capacity that's what fuel means if you press the left status button while it's charging it will show you your settings you put in before you put the battery on charge your end voltage is going to be 12.6 on any 3S. Input power voltage, temp cutoff, safety timer, capacity cutoff. Make sure you turn that on before you charge your batteries or this thing could overcharge your battery. So I just wanted to show you guys if you have this IMAX B6 uh, and you can't get a hold of uh, a nicer charger, um, that's how you can check basically the same thing that one does that one's a, definitely a nice nicer charger but that's how you can do that with this one okay thanks for watching i uh, finally got some nice weather so i'm bad charging everything up here so i can go out and fly all right see you later